So can you buy a pewter at a thrift store? I can't. <laughs> A while back, I was looking for tin to uh, make bronze with, bell bronze. And I had a couple of guys comment on my channel saying, oh, you know, buy it at the thrift store. You can get you can get those plates and stuff, these kind of things, for cheap. You get them on sale, and then yeah, it's almost all tin, blah, 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 blah. So today I thought, well, I'm going to go by and look. And today happened to be pink day at the uh, local thrift store, which means half off. And I found those three plates. And what do I know? Does it look like pewter to you? Ooh, look like, is that loud enough for you? Does it look like pewter to you? I don't know. Well, on the back of all of these plates, I'll show you off to this, I'll show you off to the side over there. Um, there are markings and they look like this. And they are from the Wilton Company. Um, Turns out this stuff is probably not tin. Well, no, I'm not even going to say it. Turns out this stuff is not tin. <laughs> this stuff is something called Armalite, R A R M E L I T E, I think it's spelled. spelled. And uh, it is an aluminum alloy that is made to look like tin or look like pewter. So I'm going to go ahead. So, no, you probably, if you see this stuff in a store, it's not. Probably not pewter. We're going to find out for sure. I'm going to melt some of this stuff. Pewter melts, or tin melts at a very, very low temperature, um, like 400 and some degrees, like Fahrenheit 451. Um, it's temperature paper burns, I hear. <laughs> Go look it up, you young people. Anyway, this is, I decide, this is the way I'm going to buy my tin from a reputable, from a dealer that I can trust, and it, I know what it is. So, Let's throw this stuff in the uh, crucible, in the, what do you call it, the furnace, and let's just see what it melts like. It may, if it melts around, if it melts really quick, maybe I'm wrong. If it melts like aluminum, I'm probably not. All right, there we go. I've got a, uh, I've got the most of one of the plates busted up and uh, broke pretty easily, which again tells me it's probably aluminum. And then I've got uh, this guy, my infrared thermometer right now it says it's about 70 degrees in there Fahrenheit so we're gonna go ahead and light that up and we'll just see if we melt it around four four hundred ish or if we melt around whatever it is eleven hundred or a thousand ish all right I'm gonna turn the furnace off for just a second here and we'll look at this we're at twelve hundred ish degrees uh, Fahrenheit which is I think that's right right around aluminum melting temperature and it's clearly not melted. So I'm going to go ahead and melt this stuff up, pour some ingots out of it, and I'll have more unknown ingots. <laughs> Maybe I can make a box out of them someday. Test. All right, well, I got uh, seven ingots out of it. <laughs> uh, for six bucks, seven ingots, so that's, what is that, 90, 90, 90 cents a piece? Uh, maybe that's not bad, I don't, I don't know. So, let me, uh, let me put me back on camera <laughs> and tell you that stuff wasn't, wasn't pewter, it wasn't tin, it melted. It was 1,200 degrees easily when it uh, melted, 1,200 plus. Uh, 10 melts much, much lower in a 400 degree range. And all oh, it's Fahrenheit, right? So um, that, uh, what was it, RWP? No bueno. Maybe it's decent aluminum, I don't know, but it's not 10. <laughs> this is my week for making mistakes, I think. You guys have a great day.